So for today, we're going to be looking at secant filaments. This did get asked for not too long ago. And this one's going to be really exciting because I love secant filaments. The exotic itself is super, super dope, but the actual exotic look itself is also super, super cool. So I'm really excited for this one. Let me know what you guys think. Again, for this one, we're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, what I think about it and the ornaments, if it has any, which this one does have one. And again, how it looks, how it shaders and how what I think about it and an example set for all of them as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a lot of people that come to my channel are not subscribed. So again, do me a favor. If you feel like if you guys like the content, like, comment, sub really does help and motivates me to make more content for you guys. So um, other than that, let's get into it. So the exotic perk is called Devouring Rift. Casting an Empowering Rift will grant you devour. Damage dealt by you and your allies from within your Empowering Rift will dis disrupt combatants. So this is pretty good. Uh, devour on demand is really good. I know Warlocks are going to be immediately bitching at me saying, well, we used to eat our grenades. Like, I, I get that. I really, really do. But I mean, like, it, unfortunately, you can't do that anymore. So this is your bet, your other best option. Not only do you get Devour on demand, but you also basically get a free champion uh, disrupting things specifically for overload champions, which is really, really cool. Definitely going to use this in high end activities just because Devour on demand is really good, but also being able to take down that champion is also really, really good. As for how it looks, I personally think it looks super, super cool. I do wish the purple like uh, lights on the boots actually changed like glows. But unfortunately, at least from my eyes, I don't see glows there because from just the base shader, it looks like it actually changes like glows and whatnot. But then when you actually switch it to different shaders, which I'll show you guys right now, you guys will see that it just turns into like one one solid color, which is very unfortunate because if the tips actually retain that glow, then Ancient Wisdom would have looked cool. I think Echoed Anger would have looked weird. Uh, Cryptic Insignia definitely would have looked super, super cool. And I think Abyssinian Gold would have also looked really cool because Abyssinian Gold specifically has red glow. So I think that is unfortunately a missed opportunity because again, if the tips just retain that glow and I'm not even asking for like a really big glow, just like a small glow like this one, ha like the base look has, I think it would have looked amazing. As for the example set, I am going with an oldie, but a goldie, uh, no pun intended for this one. The Queens guard valor shader is what I'm using just because I really, really love this shader. And it also does a really good job with combining the Nemean robes with the blood and lineage gloves. I think these two pair so well together and they just look amazing for the helmet we're using hood of the great hunt uh just because it's one of my favorite helmets nothing too crazy it's not no nothing deep just it looks fucking cool and then the Tekken regalia is bond because i wanted something a little bit more bougie because uh if you guys haven't seen this whole thing is bougie as fuck so this one i think i've done this one for a sea camp filament specifically the ornament uh video that we made which if i have it i'll have it up right now but it's kind of like that and i didn't want to reuse that one just because it it was a season ago and i wanted to do something new for the ornament so the ornament actually does have something that is a little bit more new but for this one again let me know what you guys think about this set as for the ornament it's called rain in it tracery i think this is super cool it is super like elegant looking with all of the super extra designs on the legs it's also symmetrical which i will always love but it also has a really cool glow and yeah i really have i just have praise for this ornament because it's probably one of the better ornaments out there as for how it shaders, it shaders beautifully, thankfully, because uh, I was expecting this to be really, really annoying to shader. But for the things that I'm looking at, I just I really love how it shaders, uh, especially for Echoed Anger. I think Echoed Anger looks amazing with it. I think the white really looks well with all of the embroidery. I think it all looks really, really well. And the fact that the embroidery is like split between off colors and off and main colors. So it is a lot visual there, there's happening um uh, there's a lot happening visually which is really really cool and for me i think cryptic insignia just looks amazing with it because again visually you see black you see the the teal you see the white and then you see the teal of the um of the glow so i think just overall i think this is such a banger of an ornament as for the example set this is probably one of the coolest ones i've made just because of the combination of the helmet. So the helmet we're using is Hardened Basilisk headpiece. I love this helmet, but we're using a different shader for this one because the Nebula Rose gives it such a like, if you guys can see the, the chest piece, the Elect of the Empty Robes, the shoulder pads actually have like this really like holographic uh, color, metallic holographic, I guess. And I didn't want that for the helmet just because I feel like that would have been too much. 
So I decided Grand Luster would be the choice just because it has a really good purple glow, but I knew it was going to give me a white, just a white armor set color. So that's why I went with it. And I'm happy I did that because I think it really combines everything together really well because a lot of the colors from Grand Luster is in the Nebula Rose, specifically the purple, the white and the black, all of that's there. But for everything else, Nebula Rose is an easy choice because the Dendrite Shimmer Gloves look really, really cool with it. The Elect of the Empty Hood or the Empty Robes look really, really good with it as well. And Rain in, Rain in it, uh, Tracery also looks really good with it because, again, the fact that the embroidery takes the like platinum metal color thing, I think that looks really, really cool. And then for the Bond, Meridian Constellation was a choice I made because I wanted something a little bit more bougie for the Bond and I just decided for that one. So I definitely like this one a lot. I'm going to be using this when I use the the secant filaments just because this looks so much better like bougie as fuck if i really was being like really really nitpicky i would probably switch out the arms to get some arms that actually connected with the purple of the arms uh, specifically the biceps because uh the biceps and down you see purple and then when the arms get there you see just pure white so i probably would switch the arms out for something that had that purple so that way it connects all the way down but for me i don't really mind it because uh i'm you i'm these are gloves, so it makes sense for the color to be uh, different from there. But Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I really like this set. I really like both of that sets, both of the sets, but I think this one is my favorite. Let me know what you guys think. Again, let me know what you guys want to see for the exotics. I think we just have like a handful of ones. And then after that, we're just going to go back into like, we're probably going to go in order of the exotics that I did. So the first one's probably going to be Stompies. I think Stompies was the first exotic one that we ever did. And then it was the Titans speed one and then the Warlock speed one. So, yeah, we're probably going to do that. And it's going to be a lot of fun because we're not going to look. Oh, we probably will remake the like shaders and all that, but we're going to make some cool stuff. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.